Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel video 104 in moresolutioninc.com series on how to use Excel in a medical practice. I still have the same set of data, uh, monthly collections from January to December 2010 that we've been playing with for several videos now going through forecasting. I want to show you one more way that you can uh, use this trend line. I'm going to go to more trend line options here and what I'm after is a moving average and let's do a three month moving average and close. If you're not familiar with moving averages, I've calculated out here, all Excel's doing is it's taking the average of the last three months and putting it there. And then this is the average of the last three months and the last three months, the last three months here. So here it's the average of April, May, and June. Here's May, June, July, and it just takes that average. The reason you'd want to do a moving average is not so much with monthly data, even though that's what we've been using for the last several videos, but you know, if you've got daily data or data that's got a lot of movement to it and you're trying to smooth it out and try to understand a pattern, what I'm charting here is an average that says, hey, over time, I'm gradually going up. I peaked a little bit here in November because you know I had this good September month combined with October, November. Then, you know, this good September month helped my moving average, you know, over time because it, you know, this it's gonna help me in August and in November. It's not just September, but it's going to help me in August and November. And it's even going to pull things up over time. When I got this really low July month, over time it's going to keep pulling my chart up. And that's what a moving average does for you. It smooths data over time. Again, if you want to see what we're doing, all I'm doing is taking the average of the last three months. That's what I wanted to show you from this uh, moving average, this 12 months worth of collections. The moving average, the forecasting, Y equals MX plus B, the trend, all of these kind of things are ways you can use trend lines in a, in a chart. I'm going to switch to a little bit different idea next time. Stay tuned. We'll apply these some of these same principles, but we'll do it with clinical data as opposed to financial data. Look forward to seeing you then.